Queensland is world renowned for its beautiful waterways. From the tip of Cape York to the Gold Coast, from the Great Barrier Reef through to our rivers and creeks, there's nowhere better to dive, fish or simply cruise. In 2018, the Queensland Government committed $20 million over four years to the War on Wrecks program to remove derelict vessels and other hazards to help make these waterways pristine and safe. A further $15 million for three years was committed in the 2022-23 budget, building on the success of the initial four-year program. Maritime Safety Queensland, along with their partner agencies, are cleaning up Queensland. And we need your help on the job by identifying existing vessels that have become waterway hazards, as well as preventing the further abandonment of boats. Because of the war on wrecks in the four years to June 2022, there's 1,026 fewer derelict vessels in our waterways. Ranging from sunken tinnies to barges, some barely recognisable. We've been making your waterways safer and cleaner. In the 2021-22 financial year alone, the program has been responsible for the removal of 180 hazards from our bays, creeks and islands. We have another 150 vessels on our to-do list. In May, the program reached a major milestone with the removal of its 1,000th wreck, the Sonda from Cabbage Tree Creek. Every part of Queensland has benefited from the program. In Cairns, whether you enjoy snorkelling on the Great Barrier Reef or boating in tropical waters, there's now 134 less wrecks to detract from the region's beauty, and we're monitoring another 25. If you're cruising around Magnetic Island or venturing out to the Hinchinbrook Channel, there are 86 fewer wrecks across the beaches and coastal areas around Townsville, making it safer, with another five being monitored. In Mackay and Whitsunday, known for its freshwater dams and hidden fishing spots, we're protecting the environment with 73 fewer derelicts, and we're managing nine more wrecks. Think coral caves, rivers and tropical islands. Unfortunately, abandoned vessels have caused issues for the beaches and ports in the Gladstone region. Since July 2018, the cleanup in this region means 123 fewer abandoned and we have 26 on our radar. Sunshine Coast, Brisbane and the Gold Coast. We want these areas to be known as home to a treasure trove of sandy stretches, not navigation and pollution hazards. To date, the War on Wrecks program has been responsible for a decrease of 610 derelict vessels to improve the environment, and another 85 are being monitored by the team. Now, we want you on board to help develop a whole-of-life approach towards responsible boat ownership, all the way through from manufacture to responsible disposal. We're looking at ways to ensure that everyone can safely enjoy Queensland's marine environment and invite you to work with us so we can all continue to enjoy safer, cleaner seas. Watch for regional forums in 2023. To join the conversation, search War on Wrecks.